You may think that today with all of the information we have, nothing would be mysterious. After all, we have books and websites detailing everywhere on Earth. And using something like Google Earth, we can visit these places at any time. But there are many places in this world which remain a total mystery to this day. From a forest in California where the world's elites meet up every single year. To a top secret underground metro system in Russia. Poor Bajin, Russia. Poor Bajin is located in Siberia, Russia. The fortress-like structure is located on an island in the middle of a lake, and it's thought to be over 1,300 years old. Experts say that it could have been a fortress, a summer palace, a monastery, or even a space observatory. But historians and archaeologists are still very divided over this place. The island's square walls were once impenetrable, but whatever this island is, no one knows who built it or why. It was likely constructed in 757 AD and it was first explored by more modern people in 1891. But it wasn't until 2007 that proper research on the site actually took place. One expert called Poor Bajin the most mysterious archaeological monument in the world. In Tuvan language, Poor Bajin translates as Clay House. That's because much of this fortress was made of clay. The building had construction characteristics of Chinese architecture from the Tang Dynasty. Another thing that baffled experts is the lack of heating systems. After all, Poor Bajin is 2,300 meters above sea level, and it has to endure harsh Siberian weather. It's also not known how these buildings have survived for so long. They were likely abandoned in the 9th century, but soon after that, there was a gigantic earthquake which led to fires and collapses of nearby walls. It also destroyed the northwestern corner bastion, but the buildings are still intact. Even the Russian president Vladimir Putin is baffled by this place. He said, quote, I have been to many places, I have seen many things, but I've never seen anything of this kind. I guess for now, this island will remain a total mystery. Bohemian Grove, California since the early 1900s, there have been many rumors about Bohemian Grove. The people who lived near this forest in California had heard many secret rumors. There was speculation for years that the world's elites would meet in this forest and plan how to shape the world. Now, that seems pretty crazy and made up, and that's what lots of people thought. But in 1942, rumors about Bohemian Grove were confirmed. That's because it was mentioned in secret paperwork for the Manhattan Project. This was a secret US government project to develop the atomic bomb. It turned out that the world's most powerful men had been meeting at Bohemian Grove since 1873. They have top secret meetings in this forest. There's also lots of rituals and symbolism. No women are allowed. And there's a ceremony they carry out known as the Cremation of Care. This is where a massive Moloch owl is burned. In 2001, journalist John Ronson snuck into Bohemian Grove. There, he caught on tape these bizarre rituals. Many super powerful people have been members or still are members of Bohemian Grove. This includes President Nixon, President Reagan, both George Bush Sr. and Jr., Henry Kissinger, Donald Rumsfeld, Bill Clinton, Warren Buffett, Tony Blair, and Zbigniew Brzezinski. The forest is gated and no one's allowed in. Nowadays, more people know about this place than ever, and that's why in recent years they've ramped up their security a lot. But I'd still love to try and sneak in here one day and find out what else goes on. Many say that lots of government policies are set here, and others say that big business and governments conspire here. Metro 2, Russia. There's lots of mysteries all around us, but the best place to keep something secret is underground where no one can even see it. That's the case for this underground metro station in Russia. Metro 2 parallels the public Moscow Metro. It was built back in the USSR by Joseph Stalin, and it was codenamed D6 by the KGB secret police. To this day, it's still operated by the Russian Ministry of Defense. It's said that the length of Metro 2 is much more than the public metro, and it's said to connect the Kremlin with other locations of national importance. This includes landmarks and military bases. To this day, the Moscow Metro Administration refused to confirm or deny its existence. 
Vladimir Putin is famous for getting around without anyone seeing him, so it's likely that he actually uses Metro 2. Metro 2 also connects to Vanakovo 2, which is the government airport. In 1994, the leader of an urban exploration group found the entrance to this underground system. Images from Metro 2 are scarce, but they're all very creepy. Others say that this train station can go to a nuclear bunker in case of a nuclear war. After all, Vladimir Putin is famous for having high security. Lake Michigan Triangle, USA Everyone's heard of the Bermuda Triangle. It's an area in the sea where planes and boats go missing and no one knows why. But there's an even more mysterious triangle in the USA known as the Lake Michigan Triangle. It goes from Wisconsin to Michigan to Benton Harbor. In 1921, 11 people inside the Rosabelle ship disappeared. The ship was overturned and damaged in a collision, but no other ship was on the water at the time and no other wreckage was found. In 1937, Captain Donner vanished from his cabin. In 1950, Northwest Airlines Flight 2501 crashed into Lake Michigan. It was carrying 58 people, but the plane was never found. There's also what's been nicknamed North America's Stonehenge found inside Lake Michigan. This is a 40 foot ring of rocks resting underneath the lake. So this lake is full of mysteries and is very dangerous for planes and boats. To this day, no one can explain all of these mysteries. And unlike the Bermuda Triangle, no one's even got a theory. Teotihuacan, Mexico. Teotihuacan is a Mesoamerican city. It's located in the Valley of Mexico in the state of Mexico. It was massive, one of the first great cities of the Western Hemisphere, but the origins are a total mystery to this day. It was built by hand more than a thousand years before the arrival of the Aztecs. It has massive roads, but no military structures. No one knows who could have built this city. The purpose of many artifacts found here is also completely unknown. It's pretty crazy that we have this ancient, gigantic city and no one knows who made it. But maybe one day we will find the truth. Pine Gap, Australia Everyone knows the American military site Area 51. It's used for testing military aircraft and there's also rumors of alien life at the base. But many have not heard of Australia's equivalent, which is called Pine Gap. It's run by the Australian government and the American CIA. It's a no-fly zone and it's a monitoring station. But no one knows exactly what they're monitoring. The place has over 800 employees, but no one knows what they do. But here's where things get crazy. The moon landings broadcast was sent to Pine Gap before it was broadcast on American TVs. There was an entire two minutes of that broadcast which was censored by Pine Gap. No one knows why they censored a part of the moon landing tapes. And this has led many people to believe that the moon landing was faked, but really we have no idea. What do you think they could possibly be monitoring at Pine Gap? And why is the American CIA in Australia? Poveglia Island, Italy Poveglia Island is one of the many islands in the lagoons of Venice. Most of these islands are totally beautiful and people love going on vacation to them. But Poveglia Island is strictly off limits to tourists or anyone else. That's because it's said to be one of the most haunted places on the planet. If you don't believe in ghosts and you're laughing right now, then stay with me. The island was used as a place to isolate plague victims. Later on, it was used as a mental asylum, but in the asylum, inhumane experiments were carried out on patients. Two people have tried to buy the island, but they've either seen ghosts on it or they've passed away themselves on the island. Fishermen even steer clear of this island. That's because they fear they'll catch bones in their nets. RAF Menwith Hill, England Similar to Pine Gap, RAF Menwith Hill is the UK's Area 51. It's a Royal Air Force station located in North Yorkshire. Officially, it provides communications and intelligence support to services in the UK and USA. But in reality, it's the largest electronic monitoring station in the world. It intercepts calls from all over the world, including in the UK and USA. So no matter what country you live in, if you send a text or make a call, these guys will probably hear it. Easter Island Chile. Easter Island is an island located off the coast of Chile. It was inhabited by the Rapa Nui people, but the mystery is the gigantic head statues on this island. They're around 13 feet tall and weigh 14 tons. Back in the day, they had no modern technology to build or move these around, but experts say they were likely chiseled from volcanic stone. No one knows how they were made or how they were moved. They're all perfectly lined up, so they've obviously been moved into place. But no one knows why or how these were built. 
The Bermuda Triangle. It's one of the scariest and most mysterious places in the world. It stretches from Bermuda to Miami, Florida, all the way down to Puerto Rico. It's nicknamed the Devil's Triangle. And it's also famous for a large number of aircrafts and ships vanishing. For more than a hundred years, we've tried to work out exactly why this is happening, but it remains a mystery to this day. The Bermuda Triangle is known as a vile vortex, but it is far from the only vile vortex in the world. A vile vortex is a place where there's a wrinkle in time, space, gravitational, or magnetic aberrations. They're also highly associated with vehicles and humans vanishing into thin air. The Nevada Triangle Northwest of the Bermuda Triangle is arguably a much scarier triangle. The region stretches from Fresno, California up to Reno, Nevada, and all the way out west to Arizona. But what makes the Nevada Triangle so scary? Well, in the last 60 years, hundreds of planes which venture into it never return. I don't mean the wreckage is later found somewhere, I mean it literally vanishes from thin air, never to be seen again. Inside the triangle is Las Vegas, Yosemite National Park, and even Area 51. There's also the Death Valley Desert. The most famous incident inside the triangle was that of billionaire Steve Fawcett. He was a very experienced pilot. One day he set off in his plane, but as he flew over the California-Nevada border, it went off radar. To this day, the billionaire and his plane have never been seen again. This is something which has happened to hundreds of planes over the years. But the question remains, what's causing all of these planes to vanish into thin air? Some say this could be to do with the secret government base Area 51. Maybe these planes see something they're not supposed to and have to be taken down. Or maybe they fly into restricted airspace and are shot down. Others say that aliens could be involved. After all, there are many rumors of aliens being seen in the Nevada desert. For example, with the Roswell incident where a UFO crashed into the ground. One expert said potentially these planes could be crashing into mountains. He said maybe people simply misjudge the air pressure. But if that's the case, wouldn't we find the wreckage? To this day, the Nevada Triangle is a total mystery, and we don't know what causes these planes to vanish. The Algerian Megaliths the Algerian megaliths are actually a burial ground. It was made by the ancient Zing Empire. This is one of the oldest civilizations on the planet. There's no way a civilization so ancient could have made things so advanced. Back then, there was no technology to build stable constructions like these. The megaliths are located in Algeria, in the middle of the Sahara Desert, which spans over many countries. But the area also makes up a vile vortex. Many airplanes which fly over this part of the Sahara Desert are never seen again. If you go to this place and try and take a photo with your phone, it may not work. That's because electronics normally glitch out in this area. And if you take a compass with you to find your way, it will simply spin like crazy. Also, many brave travelers who have ventured here say that the whole place has a dark aura to it. It's almost like you can feel something isn't quite right there. The Dragon's Triangle the Dragon's Triangle is also known as the Devil's Sea. In the area, it's nicknamed the Pacific Bermuda Triangle. That's because it's pretty much the same phenomena only in the Pacific Ocean. The region starts on the island of Guam. It then goes all the way up to the northern Philippines and then up to Yamatai Island. Under the sea here, there is an underwater city. This is nicknamed Japan's Atlantis. It was likely created by a very ancient civilization, but no one knows how they made such advanced architecture all the way back then. Deep under the sea are stone monoliths, but they're cut at perfect 90 degree angles. This is something we could only do with modern technology, nothing they had hundreds of years ago. To make things even more scary, many planes and ships have vanished in this area. And the Japanese government advises any pilots and captains not to go anywhere near this triangle. Some have thought about venturing down there to check it out in more detail, but it's simply too dangerous, so no one wants to or is allowed to. The South Atlantic Anomaly when you think of radiated places, you may think of nuclear power plants. Or maybe places where nuclear meltdowns have occurred, for example, Chernobyl. But really, what you should think of is the South Atlantic Anomaly. The South Atlantic Anomaly is a region of Earth where radiation is out of control. Amazingly, all of this radiation is totally natural, but we don't know where it comes from. Astronauts who look at this area from space experience hallucinations. And satellites are not able to capture photos of this area. Some have said this is because governments are hiding secrets in this area. And others say the radiation could be because 
because this is like a portal. People believe that if you go into it, it's like a portal to another dimension. But others have pointed out that it's more likely to do with the Earth's magnetic field. This region is a place where the Earth's magnetic field is weakest. And this could be what's causing the bizarre amounts of natural radiation and the anomaly. Wharton Basin You can find this vile vortex off the western coast of Australia. It's one of the most mysterious places in the Indian Ocean. Many earthquakes happen here despite there being no tectonic plates, which is what causes earthquakes. Also, there have been many cases of airplanes and ships vanishing in this area, and that's why many planes actually go around it when flying from other countries into Australia. Mohenjo Daro this place located in Pakistan is yet another architectural mystery. It was built in 2500 BC by the Indus Valley Civilization. It's not known how they made so many advanced things all those years ago. And to make things even more creepy, no one knows why this town became deserted. Because of the remains they found, it looks like everyone passed on in this civilization all at once. Some believe that they were invaded by a different civilization, and others say that perhaps a tornado or hurricane took out everyone in the area. But we don't know, and because it was so long ago, we likely never will. Hamakulia Volcano this one can be found in Hawaii, in an area which is known as the Ring of Fire. Now, a volcano is scary enough, but scientists have found strange electrical energy in this area. Almost like something electric is coming from inside the volcano. Planes that fly over this sometimes vanish from the radar and are never seen again. Easter Island Easter Island is located in Polynesia. It was home to the ancient civilization of the Rapa Nui people, but the biggest mystery has to be the Easter Island heads. These are called Moai statues, and there's almost 900 of them on the island. They look like modern works of art made with modern tools. But these are far from modern, in fact, they were made in the year 1250. No one knows how they were made, let alone how they were transported. Each statue weighs around 90 tons. That's the equivalent of 22 elephants. So no one knows how these were built or moved. Much like the ancient Egyptian pyramids, some believe that aliens had a role in making these. Alien technology does sound like a crazy theory, but I can't come up with anything better. Great Zimbabwe Great Zimbabwe was an ancient civilization. It used to have a population of around 20,000. But today there's no one in it and it's totally overgrown. The only thing we don't know is where these 20,000 people went. We know that everyone didn't simply move out and there was no major conflicts. So what could have caused 20,000 people to vanish just like that? So far science has come up with nothing and we may never find the answer as to what happened to these people. The Loyalty Islands Found on the east coast of Australia, the Loyalty Islands is yet another vile vortex. Inside the triangle are many large whirlpools. This makes it very dangerous for any ships and boats in the area. There's also geological activity which can sometimes send waves into the sky. This may be a reason why some planes vanish over the area. The world is your oyster and you can go pretty much wherever you want. But there are some places in the world which are off limits. These places are illegal to visit, sometimes for good reasons and sometimes not so much. From a top secret Chinese spying facility, to entire islands which are illegal to go on. Diego Garcia, British Overseas Territories Diego Garcia is owned and controlled by Britain, but it's nowhere near the UK. It's located between East Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. The island is full of dense jungles, and the beaches are very beautiful with white sand. But you won't find any tourists going here. The only thing you'll find on Diego Garcia is a US Navy base. The reason why is because it's a major strategic asset. The mysterious thing is, very few people know what goes on at the base. Of course, some ships and also aircrafts are stationed there. That's in case the US ever has conflict with a European, Asian or African country. But it's also said that the CIA's black sites are located on this island. These are very secretive places where the CIA does interrogations. The island is owned by the UK, but since the Cold War it's been rented out to the USA. The sad thing is before this 2,000 people were living on the island, but they were forcibly expelled by the British government. And in 2016, the UK and US extended their agreement by another 20 years. Fukushima Exclusion Zone, Japan in 2011, something happened in Japan which changed the country forever. There was an earthquake which led to a tsunami. That tsunami then damaged a nuclear power plant. 
This caused a level 7 nuclear meltdown. Residents within 18 miles of the power plant had to evacuate. And it was the worst nuclear meltdown since Chernobyl. Because of the very extreme radiation which has taken people's lives, you're not allowed to go into this area. The 18 mile radius is known as the Fukushima Exclusion Zone. According to the Japanese government, it is illegal to go here. However, one Malaysian photographer named Kyo Wee Lung did go in anyway. He snuck in without any protective equipment. He said that it was like a real life version of Fallout. The area is totally abandoned and creepy. Residents had very little time to gather their things and get out. And it's said it may take 100 years for this area to be safe again. Jiangsu National Security Education Museum, China. You may think the entire point of a museum is to be visited by everyone, right? Well, that's not the case with this museum in China. In 2009, China opened its very own National Spy Museum. It has the history of espionage and secret intelligence from China. The collection goes all the way back to the 1920s up to today. Inside are secret eavesdropping devices. There are also spy cameras disguised to look like other things, and even weapons disguised to look like other objects. But there's a catch to this museum. All foreigners are totally banned from entering. You have to be a Chinese national to get in, and there's much more to it than just that. There is very advanced security screening. You have to be confirmed that you're not a spy to get in. For anyone who is allowed to enter, it's illegal to take photos inside the museum. I'm guessing that a lot of these techniques are still used by Chinese spies today. And that's why anyone who's not Chinese is not allowed in. It's said to be the most mysterious and forbidden museum in the world. Only a couple of photos of inside this place exist. These were released by the museum themselves. Of course, making sure that no sensitive information was leaked. Bangar Fort, India you may think that governments don't legally recognize any buildings as haunted. Well, Bangar Fort in India is the only legally recognized haunted place in India. Because of this, you need a government permit to go anywhere near here before dawn or after sundown. The fort was the ruins of what was once a kingdom. It's located in between Jaipur and Alwar. The fort was built all the way back in 1573, and this was by the ruler Amber Kachawa who made it for his youngest son. But ever since this fort was built, the area has been cursed. As soon as it was built, a massive famine happened in the area. This caused all of the villagers at the time to flee. It's also forbidden to go here because it's very dangerous. There are many wild nocturnal animals that roam around here. This includes tigers. There is no non-natural lighting in the area, meaning that you won't be able to see what's around you. And of course, it's illegal to actually go inside the fort at any time. Many people, even in the Indian government, believe it truly is haunted. But if you were allowed to, would you go inside Bangar Fort, or would you be too scared? Morgan Island, South Carolina what if I told you that off the coast of South Carolina in the USA, there is a forbidden monkey island? Morgan Island, also known as Monkey Island, can be found north of Beaufort in South Carolina. There is a colony of more than 4,000 rhesus monkeys on the island. The monkeys were relocated there from Puerto Rico. This was because many monkeys in Puerto Rico were getting a bad virus. So to save them, South Carolina put them on the uninhabited Morgan Island. But today it's totally illegal for anyone to go on this island. This is for both your safety and the monkey's safety too. They don't want anyone to go on there and harm a monkey by spreading a human virus or injuring one on purpose. But it would also be very dangerous for you to go onto this island. The monkeys are not used to humans and they would likely seriously injure if not take the life of anyone who goes on here. The monkeys are owned by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, and only scientists and researchers from there are allowed to visit. Bank of England Vaults, UK one of the most valuable assets in the world is gold. In fact, the entire global financial system used to be backed by gold. But one of the countries which has the most gold reserves in it is the UK. These are stored in the vaults of the Bank of England. These are said to be the most secure vaults in the world. 
Not all of this gold is owned by the Bank of England. A lot of it is owned by other countries which stores their gold in the Bank of England vaults. That's because the vaults have a reputation for being super secure. Only those with the highest authorization are allowed to enter. In the UK, trespassing is not a crime, but that does not apply to some specific places, for example the Bank of England vaults. Down inside the vaults are stacks and stacks and stacks of gold bars. It's even off limits to the media, and only a few photos of the vaults exist. It's thought there's over $200 billion worth of gold down there. And in the 320 years it's existed, no gold has ever been stolen. Chapel of the Tablet, Ethiopia the Chapel of the Tablet is one of the most elusive and mysterious places in the world. Inside supposedly is the Ark of the Covenant, but we don't actually know this because only the Ark's Guardian is allowed to enter. This means we simply have to trust the Ark's Guardian that it's in there. The Ark of the Covenant is a gold-covered wooden chest, and inside contains the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments. The last time the Ark of the Covenant was seen by anyone but the Ark's Guardian was in 587 BC. Even back then the Ark was not to be touched or even looked at when uncovered, and to this day it is the holiest and most precious object in the world. The estimated value is literally priceless, as it's the most important relic in history. Nihau, Hawaii Nihau is an island located off Hawaii. It's also known as the Forbidden Island. It got its name back in 1952 when polio broke out. It was illegal to leave or enter the island to stop the spread of polio. The island is inhabited by 170 people. Every year thousands apply to visit, but almost all of them are turned down. Even the music legend Mick Jagger was denied entry to this island. The White's Club, UK the White's Club is said to be the most secretive and forbidden gentleman's club in the world. It's located in a very wealthy part of London. Founded in 1693, members include politicians, billionaires, and royal family members. Women are not allowed in, with one exception, which is the Queen. Only the most elite people are allowed in, and the membership is only 500 people. Also, the club's bar has not closed for 200 years. Do you ever wish you could just get away from it all? Well then you should take a trip to one of these buildings. These are the most remote and isolated buildings on the world, far away from any civilization. Some of these are difficult and even impossible to get to, and some are very secretive, only known to a few people. Sphinx Observatory, Switzerland this observatory is located in the Swiss Alps. Many don't see this as no one goes anywhere near these Alps but even the brave hikers that do sometimes miss it. That's because it was designed to blend in with the rocks of the mountains. It's a massive 3,571 meters above sea level, and it is the highest constructed building in Europe. The building was only made possible after a 20-year mission to get up to the Alps. Europe's highest railway station was then built on top of these Alps. This allowed them to transport builders and building materials to make this place. And it serves a pretty amazing purpose. It's one of the best observatories we have in the world. It's used for research on astronomy, meteorology, and glaciology. To get there, you need to get a train from Zhang Faochoch Rail Station, and then after that you need to get on an elevator shaft through the mountain. The final stretch is a hike up to the observatory. This place is so remote and high up that many call it the top of Europe. Tais Rabat, Kyrgyzstan some say that this is one of the oldest hotels in the world. It's known as a caravan saray. This means a rest stop for people traveling long ways. It used to be used by traders who were traveling along the Silk Road. For many centuries, this was the main route of commerce between Europe and Asia. It's far away from anything in Kyrgyzstan's Narin province. People making the journey between the two continents would sleep here for a few days rest. The entire building is made from crushed rock and clay, but the inside of the buildings is very impressive with dome-shaped roofs. Today it's not used for anything. After the Silk Road ceased to be used, this place was abandoned, but if you do want to travel here you can do so. You'll need to go on horseback and it may take many days. You can no longer sleep inside Tash Rabat, but nearby there are some traditional yurts you can sleep in. ESO Hotel, Chile 
you may think that there's nothing in Chile's Atacama Desert. That is mostly the case, except for one large hotel. You may recognize this building, and that's because it was featured in the James Bond movie Quantum of Solace. Now, you may be thinking, who on earth would stay in a hotel located in a desert? Well, the answer is not tourists. In fact, if you want to book a room at this hotel, you'll be sorely disappointed. The hotel is only used for workers of the European Southern Observatory. If you saw this building from afar, you may well miss it. That's because it's built into the desert, like camouflage. This is to minimize the visual impact on the surroundings, as Chile prohibits building in the desert. Only the central dome garden is visible on the horizon. The hotel has 108 rooms. There are also 18 offices. There's also gardens, a swimming pool, a library, and a sauna. Some even nicknamed the hotel the Oasis for astronomers. It's at an altitude of 2,400 meters and there's almost zero rainfall every year. That's why large vehicles bring gigantic tankers of water to the construction every year. Without it, it would not remain functional, and showers and drinking water would not work. The building is dyed red to blend in with the desert sand. But this also provides a thermal mass. This helps to regulate the internal climate inside the building. Katsky Pillar, Georgia Katsky Pillar is located in the country of Georgia. The unbelievable building is a church dedicated to Saint Maximus. It sits at a height of 130 feet. Inside the church is a crypt and a wine cellar. Amazingly, this church is fairly new. It was built after researchers climbed the pillar in 1944, and the church was then restored from 2005 to 2009. From the church, you get amazing views of the surroundings. That is, the amazing vegetation growing on the mountains surrounding it. Bjork's Island, Iceland Everyone knows the singer Bjork. She is likely the most famous celebrity to come out of Iceland, and that's why the country of Iceland gave her her own island. This is called Illeri Island. The 110-acre island is located in the middle of nowhere. It's found south of Iceland in the Atlantic Ocean. On it is just one large white house. Five families inhabited the island roughly 300 years ago, and the single house which remains on the island was built as a lodge for puffin hunters. Strangely, the house is surrounded by a fence, but something tells me no one's going anywhere near this place. There is nothing on the island, and you'd need to use a boat to get to it. Because of its bizarre shape, even a helicopter could not be used. It's also pretty uninhabitable, as it's filled with gigantic, jagged, sharp rocks. Halley 6 Research Station, Antarctica this research station is used by the British Antarctic Survey. It's the sixth research station. All of the other ones were naturally destroyed by the harsh climate. The base is designed to react to the very hostile and ever-changing Antarctic environment. This means the isolated structure should survive for a long time. The base is several pods in a straight line. This is to prevent any winds from blowing it over. It also causes any snow to drift off to the side. All of these pods are built on large steel skis. These are on hydraulic legs which raise and decrease as the snow levels do. But the entire base itself is built on the Brunt Ice Shelf. This is a moving 150 meter thick slab of ice. This means the Halley base is moving closer and closer to the sea every moment. It would be impossible to build this in Antarctica. That's why these were assembled in South Africa and then shipped to Antarctica. Chess Pavilion, China Chess Pavilion is far away from anything above the clouds of China. It's located on Mount Hua. This is said to be one of the scariest hikes in the world. But if you make it up here, you get an amazing view from this pavilion. It's located 2,154 meters up in the sky. This means you literally have to get up above the clouds to be here. But based on the images, the view you're rewarded with is well worth it. Bishop Rock Lighthouse, UK This lighthouse in the UK is 70 kilometers from the closest town. It was built in the 19th century after many shipwrecks in the area, and it was used by ships going between Britain and North America. The structure was built using granite which had to be shipped there. It was very difficult building this large tower on a tiny piece of stone. Staff found it very difficult to get to the lighthouse, and that's why in 1976 a helipad was built on the lighthouse. But since 1992 this lighthouse has been fully automated. Doomsday Vault, Norway 
The Svalbard Global Seed Vault may be our only hope if the world goes into nuclear war. It stores enough seeds to prevent a regional or global crisis. The facility is nuclear blast proof. It's also 130 meters above sea level. This means it would still be okay if all of the polar ice caps melted. Huang Gongsi, China. This place in China is known as the Hanging Temple. It's located on the side of Mount Heng. Beams are embedded in the cliff's bedrock, and the entire thing is said to be made by a single man. I just hope no one drinks too much on this place and falls off. Casa do Penido, Portugal. This place in Portugal looks like it was made by a caveman. It translates to the House of Stone. It was built in 1974, but has no electricity. Amazingly, this was made using four boulders which were naturally aligned here. The world is your oyster, and you can travel pretty much anywhere, right? Well, not exactly. There are some forbidden places on Earth which you cannot go to. If you did travel into any of these places, you would put your freedom, health, and even life at risk. So let's take a look at these amazing yet scary places I dare you to visit. Doomsday Vault, Norway. When we think of a doomsday vault, we imagine politicians and billionaires hiding out after a nuclear blast. But there's no living people allowed in the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. If there was ever a nuclear explosion on Earth, then many seeds would be wiped out. This could mean that certain plants and foods would never grow again, causing massive issues. That's why in 2008, the Global Seed Vault was officially opened. It's said to be one of the most guarded and secure places on Earth. Inside is over 400,000 types of seeds, 90,000 of which are food crops. The reason why it's in an icy area of Norway is because it would not be too affected if there was a nuclear blast. Lots of funding for this actually came from Microsoft founder and billionaire Bill Gates. This has led to some theories that Gates may try to use the bunker in the event of a global crisis or apocalypse. But that's only speculation. For now though, this vault may be the best way to keep humanity going if there's ever an apocalypse. Diego Garcia, Britain. On the surface, this place looks like an amazing tropical retreat. Diego Garcia is an island located in British Indian Ocean Territory. It has white sandy beaches and coral reefs. But there's a dark past, which means this place is forbidden. In 1973, the UK government forcibly evicted everyone on the island. The government then built a large military base on Diego Garcia. Since then, the island has been shrouded in secrecy. Many say that the CIA used this to do terrible interrogations on people. And it's also known as the British Guantanamo Bay. In 2016, some thought the base was going to close. But then the UK and USA met up and they decided to continue the base until at least 2036. So for now, we have no idea what goes on on this forbidden military island. Lascaux Caves, France. In 1940, this labyrinth of caves was discovered. Archaeologists were amazed because it had the best preserved Stone Age art in the world. It's thought this art is over 17,300 years old. It soon became a top tourist attraction and many went down to the caves. But in 1955, experts realized that tourists were ruining the rock paintings. That's because of the carbon dioxide, heat, and humidity humans produce. There were basically so many people down there that it was melting the cave paintings. That's why these caves were closed in 1963. But that has not stopped some people from trying to break into these caves to check out the Stone Age art. To this day though, they're closely guarded by French cops, and you're strictly forbidden from going down there. Also, no one's down there, and most of the caves are locked. This means if you did go down there, there's a pretty good chance you'd be lost in the labyrinth of caves. The scary thing is, it's so dark down there that no one would ever come and rescue you. North Brother Island, USA this island is located in New York, and it's one of the most famous abandoned places in the USA. It was originally developed as a quarantine hospital, not for any recent viruses, instead this was for typhoid. North Brother Island was also home to Typhoid Mary. Typhoid Mary, also known as Mary Mallon, was an Irish-born American cook. She infected 53 people, including herself, with typhoid fever. And at the time, this was a massive issue. Later on, this island was used as a rehab center, but today it's forbidden to go here. In 2007, New York City purchased it and forbid anyone from going anywhere near it. No one knows what goes on on the island today, but many claim that it's haunted. That's because it was used as a quarantine hospital and also a rehab center. The creepy brick buildings on the island are all overgrown and it looks like a tropical mess. 
But do you think this place is haunted or not? Before you answer that, would you spend a night on this island for $100? Snake Island, Brazil. This island is known to locals as Ilha de Camada Grande, but it's better known around the world as Snake Island. It would probably be a hotspot for tourists if it weren't for one thing. This island is infested with the world's most venomous snakes. The Brazilian authorities ban anyone from visiting this island. There are over 4,000 golden lancehead snakes on the island. This is the most dangerous and venomous serpent on the planet. Police boats ride around the island 24-7. This is to make sure any foolhardy explorers don't go onto it. There are also many warning signs on the island telling you that you'll likely be bitten by snakes if you go here. And so far no human has ever dared to go on this island. And so far no human has ever dared to take a trip to this island. Surtsdi Island, Iceland. This tiny island can be found off the southern coast of Iceland. It was formed as a result of a volcanic eruption that lasted for four years. And it also has the world record for being the newest island in the world. But if you want to go here then, you're out of luck. Everyone except a few scientists and geologists are banned from going to this island. That's because it's believed that human interference could destroy the ecological succession taking place on the island. Right now, they're monitoring the colonization process of the new land by plants and animals. Because it formed so recently, it's a unique scientific opportunity to find out about plants and wildlife. And so far, scientists have not been disappointed. The rocky outcrop has revealed many natural secrets. And recently, UNESCO has even declared it a World Heritage Site. Maybe someday, Sturtsdi Island will be open to the public, but for now, it's strictly forbidden. Issei Jingu, Japan this place located in Japan is also known as the Issei Grand Shrine. In Japan, shrines are massively popular and there's over 80,000 in the country. But no one is allowed anywhere near the Issei Jingu. To maintain traditions, going back to the 8th century, this temple is rebuilt every 20 years. And that comes at a cost of many millions of dollars. Unless you're a member of the Japanese royal family, you're not allowed to enter here. Even members of Japan's royal family rarely visit this shrine. When it's rebuilt, there's an elaborate ceremony which few people ever get to witness. North Sentinel Island, India India is a country where laws are respected. But if you go to this island, which is part of India, then all of that goes out the window. If you go to this island, you will not make it back alive and the people who took your life won't be prosecuted. That's right, North Sentinel Island is home to the Sentinelese tribe. It's against the law to actually go to this island. However, some people have tried, for example, missionaries. Sadly, anyone who's tried to get onto this island has been taken out by the tribe that lives on it. The tribe has been living on the island for 50,000 years. They're protected by the Indian government and no outsiders are allowed. In 2006, two men were illegally fishing off the island. That's when 50 to 200 tribes people took these people out. The Indian Coast Guard tried to get their bodies back. They tried to do this with helicopters, but instead the tribes people shot arrows at them. In 2004, the tribe was nearly wiped out by the Indian Ocean tsunami. But amazingly, they survived and they're still fine on the island today. Nihau Island, USA this island has a population of only 160 people, but that doesn't mean anyone's allowed on here. You need to be a member of the US Navy or you're not getting on. This is a forbidden place which only the Navy is allowed to do experiments on. No one's exactly sure what goes on here and it's a big American mystery. Chernobyl, Ukraine. In 1986, there was a massive nuclear incident at the Chernobyl plant in Ukraine. This caused the entire area to be wiped out and it's still radioactive to this day. It's very sad and the place is overgrown and destroyed. There are some areas where you're allowed in, but it's still so toxic much of the areas are illegal to enter. Nearly 100 people passed on because of this incident. But more than 34 years on, it's still radiated. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which of these forbidden places you would go to if any. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.